In 2004, when cricket resumed in Pakistan, at the heart of that decision was a former diplomat. Almost 11 years later, Shahriyar Khan is pulling off an encore. A little later this month, Zimbabwe will be touring Pakistan and then he has also clinched a deal for India to play with Pakistan later this year. Thank you very much, Mr. Khan, for talking to us, sparing this time while you are in Delhi. Well, it took you a while to get into India. And yeah. once you were here, you almost clinically clinched that deal with BCCI of India playing a test series with Pakistan. Given the situation, given the climate that it is, and there have been protests, do you realistically see the series going on? I realistically do feel that this series should take place. I feel that the two boards are very willing to move forward on this, to have the series. Mm -hmm. uh, not only that, and uh, let me correct you a little, I didn't sign the deal. The deal was signed before... Uh, I became chairman, mm -hmm. and it was signed so that in the next eight years, we play each other five times. The first time round is here. I believe that cricket and politics should be separate. Mm -hmm. They should not impinge on each other. That the fact that ups and downs are always there in our political relationship, in our diplomatic relation. This goes without saying over our 70 years history. That should not affect the frequency and the rhythm of our cricket matches, because the public wants to see them. They are the most important matches in the world. Let's face it. Uh, so five series in the next eight years, would you say that you've been able to achieve the first, a go ahead with the first because of your robust relationship with Jigmohan Dalmia, and which wasn't so with his predecessors, uh, Sharad no, Pawar no, and, and Srinivas? I have a very good relation with Srinivas and with Sharad Pawar. And before that, with Jagmohan Dalmi, I have a very good relationship. Always I maintain good relations with the chairman of the Indian boards. Mm -hmm. So it's not just Dalmi, but the fact of the matter is that last time Dalmi was there, I was in the position, and our experience was a very good one. There were many reservations, political and otherwise. The players didn't want to come, again for security reasons. But they came, and they went back very happy, I know that. It was, it is known as the Friendship Series, and I want to revive that. Sir, we do know that Zimbabwe is touring Pakistan later this month. Uh, yes. How far are we from seeing India tour Pakistan? Well, I, let me be quite frank about that. We have had associate members come to us. Afghanistan came to us. Mm -hmm. Kenya came to us. Nepal was coming to us on, when this earthquake took place. They'll come a little later, hopefully. Zimbabwe is the first full member, in other words, a test playing team that is ready to come and play. Short, short tour, no test matches yet. But as a result, and I hope this will be successful, they come in a week's time. I hope it will be successful. And what will happen is that with the Zimbabwe tour, we may get other countries to come, full member countries, to come and play tours in Pakistan. So would you say lack of competitive cricket in Pakistan, Pakistan not being able to play on Pakistani soil has dented their performance like you didn't do too well in the World Cup, yes, then definitely. fifth one day series. Not playing in front of your own crowds is a big setback, you know. And I know our captain, Ms. Ba and others have always felt that not playing in Pakistan against your own crowds with the tension of the crowd and expectations, uh, it has been a setback for us. We'll try and get over it. But now if India comes, even to Dubai and to Abu Dhabi, I think you'd get huge crowds there. If this relationship starts, as we hope it will in December, I see doors opening for Pakistani players to play in the IPL. And uh, that hasn't happened, not because the board doesn't want it. It has happened because the franchises mm -hmm. are still nervous about Pakistani players playing for their teams, so they have to increase security and all that. But so there are problems with Sri Lankan players also. They can't play in Chennai. Can't the uh, franchises work around that? And have you had a w talk with them? Yeah, they do that, but I think uh, the time will come if we start this series when it will be yeah. much easier for Pakistani players to play in the IPL. Much easier. A little bit about ICC. Uh, we know how the powers now rest with the big three. Yes. Australia, England and India. How does being left out of this big three um, and what kind of uh, preferences do you get now? 
Well, uh, the fact of the matter is we don't feel left out, frankly. We, for instance, I as chairman of PCB, am a member of the governance committee. I'm a member of the audit committee. Uh, just as others, West Indians and Bangladeshis and others, have their positions. It is true that there are three uh, more the powerful the control yeah, uh, with them, but the fact remains this is the new order of the Constitution. Uh, we have to go along with it. We have to support it. Uh, I have no real problem with it. Frankly. What about the revenue model? Revenue model, rightly. The revenue model is such that since India generates most of the revenue, it is only right that it should have a much larger share than it was getting before. And I think that is absolutely fair. My only feeling is that it could have happened without a constitutional change. Mr. N. Srinivasan is the former chief of BCCI removed by the Supreme Court uh, because of certain reasons you, you know about that. Does ICC still have the confidence in him um, and will allow him to carry on as the chairman? You see, this is a decision which is not by the ICC. It is a decision that is taken by the BCCI as to whether he should continue or not. We are perfectly happy with the way Mr. Srinivasan runs the ICC. We are perfectly happy with that. But should there be a change or should there be any other alternative, then it's for the BCCI to take that. We are quite happy with whoever the person is who is running the show on a constitutional basis. Thank you very much for talking to us, sir.